Okay, in this quick screen cam, what we're going to look at is how we derive the equation for the differential gain of this amplifier. First thing we actually need to find out is what is the value V negative at this node, and we need to find out what is the value at V positive at this node. Okay, those are the first two sort of starting equations. What we're going to say, this is true, that the, the open loop gain or the massive gain A of this amplifier is going to drive those two inputs to be zero, therefore the inputs are the same, therefore we can equate the two equations together. So let's start off with V, um, with v plus. Okay, so the value of V plus, well if we assume that the no current is flowing into the operational amplifier here, let's call that I op amp and let's say it's zero, then effectively we've simply got a voltage divider between R3 and R4. So it's quite straightforward, so V plus is equal to V1, R4, all divided by R4 plus R3. Okay, and there's our first expression for V positive. V negative is a little bit more difficult to actually work out. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, what, what, what is going on at V negative? If we assume that V2 was connected to ground, V out times R1 over R2 plus R1 will be the value at v, ne at v negative. So if we now say that we just then do superposition and we do that equation, we then work out that we have to work out what V2 is and V0. So let's work, let's put the expression down. V negative is equal to the volt difference between V0 and V2. V0 minus V2. That's the volt difference. Now we have a voltage divider between this node to get to this, this part. So this is R1, R1 plus R2. And the fact that we've actually looked at the voltage difference between the two means we've got a DC offset of V2 to add back in again. So now we've got our second expression. So we've got our value of V1 and we've got our value of V minus. Now those two values should be equal. Okay, I'll put a multiplication sign in there so you know what's going on. Okay, brackets there. <clears throat> so that's the first, that's the starting point. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to do quite a lot of manipulation to actually figure out exactly where we're going with this. So if we now go to V1 R4, R4 plus R3 is equal to the voltage at the output minus voltage 2 multiplied by the voltage divider R1 plus R1 plus R2 and then we add V2 back in again. Okay, You can see we've now got a simple expression that we need to uh, just expand. So what we're going to do is we're going to expand this terms here, V out and V in. We'll leave uh, V1 alone for the moment. So we can say we have V out R1 over R1 plus R2. And then we've got, on the other side, we have uh, minus, minus V2 into 1 minus R1 over R1 plus R2. Okay, let's just check where that came from. You've got the V2 term here. Uh, we're, we're, multi we're expanding this bracket out. We've got a minus sign here. So we've got the 1 minus this other term. And those are our uh, two values. So this one here is plus. Yeah. So this is the minus V2 fraction. And this v V2 is our single term. If we now uh, rewrite, we have V1, R4, R4 plus R3 is equal to V out, R1, R1 plus R2. Plus, now what we're going to do here is we're going to cheat a little bit. R1 over R2, uh, R1 plus R2 subtracted from 1 is exactly like uh, uh, the, the R2 term because it's a voltage divider in unity terms. So what we've got here is V2 and we swap over the top term R1, R1 plus R2. So just seeing that step here to here probably sometimes can be a little bit tricky but that now gives you everything in terms of V1 and V2. 
So now if we just rearrange that, we'll put V out on one side, we'll put V in on the other side, or we'll just subtract V2 to the other side. What we now have is V out R1 over R1 plus R2 is equal to V1 R4 over R4 plus R3 minus V2 R2 over R1 plus R2. Okay? If we get rid of the R1, R2 and uh, terms here, so we've just got everything expressed in terms of V out, we have V out is equal to R1 plus R2 all over R1 into V1 R4 over R4 plus R3 minus V2 R2 R1 plus R2. Okay? Quite a straightforward sort of equation now. And now if we multiply through by R1 plus R2, we'll put it into the numerator here, that will cancel in the denominator so it will disappear from there. If we want to get rid of the R2, we want to divide through by R2 uh, in, in that term, which will then give us sort of our final expression. So V out is now equal to R2 over R1 into V1. We have R4, R1 plus R2, all divided by, in this case, R2, because we've got the R2 on the top, we need the R2 on the bottom to cancel, R3 plus R4, and then we have minus V2, we would have had R2, so if we put R2 on the bottom we can keep the R2 on the top, and that simplifies through, okay, and there we have our key differential equation, this is one of our fundamental differential equations. If we now remember that what we normally do is we make um, R2 to R1 ratio exactly the same as R4 to R3, what we end up doing is cancelling this, so we end up with V out is equal to R2 over R1, or it could be R4 over R3, V1 minus V2. Now, just to go even further, what we would normally do is we would normally make R1 equal to R2, which is therefore equal to R3, which is equal to R4. If we do that, we make that V out is equal to V1 minus V2. That also therefore means AD, the differential mode gain, is usually equal to 1 which it is because it makes our life really, really simple. So you can see we've got piles of maths there, but we've actually got to this fundamental equation, uh, which I'm just going to put a bit of a bracket around, so that we know that this is what's really important. So this is the really important equation. Now you're going to have to either remember this equation, or derive this equation from first principles like I've done. Remember as well that the caveat is that AD is often 1, so the whole thing simplifies to this expression that I've just highlighted as well. So that's one of those clear key features of the differential amplifier. In later videos what we'll look at is what happens with the op-amps common mode rejection ratio and we'll also look at what happens with the resistors and uh, resistor tolerances in the effect of common mode rejection ratio.